<laughs> this is our how many which how many churches have so been? We've only been to one, two, three, this is the fourth one. Okay, so this is our fourth church that we're and um, fruit. Fruit, tomato, I don't know. Anyway, that's what it's gonna be, so I can show you when it's all done. Uh, there are those spots, and it makes sense that it is most likely my cancer um, rearing its lo lovely head. <laughs> so um, we are, she gave me some options to go over, and I'm going to go over that with my husband. I'm going to do some research, and basically she wants to put me on the chemo pill. Hi guys. Okay, so I am driving, so... Um, I have a little bit of a trek to make. It is grocery day. Ooh. <laughs> so we are going, or we, me, myself and I, are going to um, Dayton, which is like 30 some minutes away from our house. Um, yeah, just, I already ordered my groceries. I just have to pull in, text them, let them know that I'm here, and, um, they bring the groceries out to you. However, I am going to splurge today <laughs> and get out of the car and go in. I forgot that I need several little items that I didn't put on the list, so I don't want to have to come back, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and make the trip inside, which is really fancy of me. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> sorry, my camera stand is like going down, 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 down. Get up, 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 there you go. Um, sorry the lighting is really bad, but there's only one place to put the camera stand that, uh, doesn't block my view to drive, so, you know, there, that, there is that. So anyway, um, um, I was thinking as I was, uh-oh, oh, Okay, so this is the creep. This is the weird thing. So my Tesla, um, still getting used to it. We've had it over a year, and I'm still getting used to the little things. And then they update. They do updates, and things change and stuff. When the speed limit changes on the road, uh, and I have auto drive on, then the car adjusts itself to whatever speed that is, you know, that is legal. So all of a sudden. I'm sitting here and it goes and then I thought oh what's wrong with the car then I looked and it's like oh the speed limit dropped to um, 45 from 55 so there is that but anyway um, it's telling me that I have to go off of auto drive because we are getting closer to town um, anyway so yeah, today is just kind of a chill, get things done day. Yesterday I did my washing and a whole bunch of stuff, um, you know, just household chart, chores and stuff. My sister and brother-in-law are coming next Saturday. They're coming just for Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I think they're leaving Tuesday. And um, so I'm super excited. I haven't seen my sister in two months. I know two months is not a long time for a lot of people, but for me, it two months is a long time to be separated from my sissy. So anyway, um, I'm excited. I'm trying to get the house all together uh, for their visit. And also next weekend, I think, is my grandson Levi's very first um, soccer game. He is on two different soccer teams. He's like really good. Uh, he's 13 or will be 13 in a couple weeks. Um, his first one is just the regular like school soccer, you know, like a team, like the community soccer teams and stuff. And the second one he just made, it's like a really big deal for him, is a traveling, um, like a national soccer team. So. And I'm sure it's got a name, but I don't know what that is because I don't retain things that easy anymore. But I will learn it. I will because he will be very disappointed if I do not. <laughs> so anyway, there is um, a, his very first game. So we are all going to go to breakfast as a family. Then we're going to go to the game, hang out. And then we're going to go to my sister's property and um, see the progress that is done on their house. 
uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. And let's see, on Tuesday, I have my scans. And it was so nice, y'all. I got to, um, hold on, just checking the speed. Oh, this guy's in my bum. Okay, so that was a really bad idea. <laughs> Sorry, I was eating nuts. Um, okay, so I decided, I went to Walmart, as you know, I picked up my food. Well, then I thought, oh, crud, I forgot something. So I went in thinking, I'm just going to go there, I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to get back out. However, <laughs> since I haven't been out in a while, and it's kind of like a different lifestyle for me, and I'm just kind of craving people, <laughs> I mean, I would talk to anybody in the store if they'd listen to me. <laughs> anyway, so um, I decided just to mooch around and kind of just take a gander and think, oh, you know, I'll just look. Anyway, I ended up... <laughs> leaving with $200 of stuff, but this is the good stuff. I got some pajamas because um, I've been having such bad night sweats that I have to change my pajamas like three or four times a night sometimes. I mean, that is like so freaky. If any of you women of a certain age have had this issue, please drop it in the comments and let me know that I'm not alone. Or, I don't know, I'm gonna talk to the doctor about it because it's getting very hard to sleep. So then I picked up some like just cute little jammies that are inexpensive, lightweight, easy to switch in and out of. Then I saw um, the decorations. So I got like baskets to put the toilet paper things in, a trash can for the bathroom, you know, just this and that. And um, what else did I get? Hmm. Oh, I got some... Um, they're not leggings, but they are, uh, thermals to wear, like, under dresses and stuff. Because I have some really cute dresses I'd like to wear, but it's just too stinking cold. So I got those. And then I got, um, oh, I got two walking, just, like, jackets that you zip up around your neck. So when I go walking, I'm not, like, just wearing, I only have one to wear walking. I don't like to wear the big heavy ones when I walk. So they were like on sale for $9.99, so I got those. Anyway, all right, now people are all staring at me, so I think I'm going to get off the camera. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't think too many people vlog in, in Tennessee. Everybody just stares at you like you have horns growing out your butt or something. I don't know. Anyway. I'm going to get home just telling you it's a bad idea to go in the store because temptation is just too much. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to head home. Good morning, you guys. I'm so sorry about the lighting. It is still a little bit kind of shadowy because, sorry about that, Tessa, we named our car Tessa. Yes, we did. Um, kind of automatically does what she wants in the morning time. <laughs> Anyway, we are off to another church. <laughs> this is our how many? Which how many churches have there been? Well, we've only been to one, two, three. This is the fourth one. Okay, so this is our fourth church that we are trying, and um, yeah, so we're onward march, and we're going to what is it called? The Grove. The Grove. It's called uh. the Grove. So. We are ready. I put my, my hair in and sleeked it all back. And then um, I'm wearing a new sweater today. I haven't, I got it a long time ago and I completely forgot I had it. It's just like really a cable knit cardi and it's kind of cute. I thought, oh, those are cute. But there was a problem. I put my jeans on. I got some jeans from H&M and they're so adorable. They're wide legs, baggy fit but they were a little bit big around the middle, so I thought, oh, I'll just put a belt with them. Well, guess what? There's no belt loops. So, anybody have a solution for that? Please let me know, because it's way too late to take these back. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am, oh, and by the way, I had a really good night's sleep last night. Um, it's just, I did what the doctor said. <laughs> You, you would think I would listen after all these years, right? But no, I haven't. I um, The doctor had given me uh, muscle relaxers. He said, take those and then 
as your body's relaxing and then take your pain medicine because it makes it work better because night times are just excruciating for me. So I, um, I actually followed his instructions and did that last night. And I slept all night. I don't know if it was just that or it's just I was so tired. My body just was like ready to collapse. But anyway, it feels really good to get a good night's sleep. I can't imagine if that were every day. But anyway, maybe when I'm 65, if I get there, <laughs> I have hopes. <laughs> all right. Either I'll be 65 here on earth or in heaven. So either way, I am turning 65. <laughs> all right, you guys. I'll see you in a little bit. Today is Wednesday. I'm sorry, I am kind of behind on my vlogging because we've had just one issue right after another with our kitchen makeover, long story. But right now I'm on the way to my doctor's appointment to get, um, they did more lab work to follow up on my last lab works showing my cancer markers were up. So I'm going there now to um yeah sorry let me take these off it's a little bright anyway so i'm headed there now to get my lab results and um talk to them about my mri and all the extra scans that they did uh just to um someone is calling in and i don't know who it is so me thinks I'm going to ignore it for now. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that's what's happening. I'm on my own today because um, <laughs> the water all went out in, in our area and hubby is in the middle of painting and he couldn't get a shower. He's covered in paint. So I said, you stay behind. I'm going to go. I don't want to be late. And then after that, I have to head to uh, the pharmacy pick up some medication then after that I have to go and see if I can find a warm sweater for my poor little Bentley my little Yorkie because after he got groomed he has no fur coat anymore and he is freezing cold <laughs> poor little dude so anyway that's what's up for today I will catch you um, on the way back and we'll have a chat all right you guys um, that actually went really well. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Um, went in and they got me right in, which I was really thankful for because I hate having to wait forever. Um, my doctor, I just love her so much. She is so, so supportive and just talks to you and asks how you doing. Did you find a church, she asked. She even remembered that because uh, our last visit, I said that we were, you know, trying different places, trying to find a church. And so she even remembered to ask me, have you guys found a church home yet? And she suggested a few and told me where she went. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I just love that. So um, anyway, to the point, <laughs> um, my lab work is exactly the same as it was a couple weeks ago. Uh, my cancer markers are up in the same spot. Nothing changed there. Nothing additional popped, which was a good thing, she said. She said that she didn't really expect anything to go down, um, um, but she added a couple extra things she wanted to check, and they were fine in my blood work. 
which I was really good. I was really happy about. My vitamin D levels are fine. Um, uh, B12, all, all the stuff that could affect cancer markers were nice and firm. So the cancer markers stand as is, which is showing that somewhere in my body, my cancer is perking up. So my cancer cells are perking up, which is not good. Now my MRI, uh, the brain and all that was clear. No, nothing. And I didn't expect anything. I haven't had any symptoms and what hasn't been that long since they checked. So I kind of felt like, you know, I know they have to do, do everything and see it for themselves and all that good stuff. But, um, yeah, that was fine. Um, uh, the two spots that we talked about before on my spine are obviously still showing and she said that the the MRI and the she did a PET scan where she did a CAT scan before this time is a PET scan where it's a little bit more sensitive it's where they give you the glucose and you're in it you know just catches more stuff and happily there was no extra uh, hot spots nothing more that was concerning so basically it was good news um looks like my cancer is is trying to um it's on the move again but um she feels like it's not it's not like spread through my whole body like you know that was the first fear um yeah so, I mean, we're kind of the same place we were last week and the week before. We don't know exactly, you know, we know that our my cancer markers are up. Uh, there are those spots, and it makes sense that it is most likely my cancer um, rearing its lo lovely head. <laughs> so, um, we are, she gave me some options to go over, and I'm going to go over that with my husband. I'm going to do some research. And basically, she wants to put me on the chemo pill. And, um, but she said that she would respect my opinion if I wanted to do a wait and see and stuff. She said that the reason for wanting to do the chemo pill is because the cells that are like, you know, going around that would, um, someone just pulled up. Anyway, it would, it would get those and kind of like, keep it from getting past this point basically so um, I'll pray about that talk to my husband about it another thing is that she said that um, go ahead and talk to my holistic eh, holistic practitioner and see what he thought if there was any holistic anything that he would suggest and um, she said that maybe that a very very low dose of the chemo pill and maybe a complementary holistic program that boosts the immune system because the chemo pill will lower the immune system and make me open to infection and illness and all that kind of good stuff. So um, by doing a, a program that boosts my immune system naturally, then uh, to counteract what the medicine would do, basically. So anyway, she and she said that she would love to talk to Dr. Modar. That's my my um, holistic practitioner, uh, and see if they could come up with a plan together, which I have never heard ever in my life with my prior doctors. They're usually just like you know this is what you got to do do it or else you're gonna die or eh, you know just I don't know I haven't had a good a good um, experience with doctors wanting to work with my holistic doctors you know they're like they might respect them they might say yeah you know I, I think there's some valid this or that I've read studies on it my last oncologist was that way and I loved her and I think I'm gonna love this gal just as much I, I mean I just feel really blessed right now to have really good doctors and I am just gonna take one step at a time I'm gonna pray about it and yeah all right onward March okay you guys well 
I am at home and I'm getting ready to create a healthy dinner out of nothing. <laughs> so um, this is the situation here. Our kitchen is completely torn up right now because we are, you know, redoing it, which it is looking so pretty. I'm, I'll show you a little tiny um, part in just a little bit. There's my dinner. But um, trying to eat plant-based, um, you know, whole food, all of that. Anyway, it's really hard without a kitchen. And to top it all off, we have no water. <laughs> uh, water main got broken or something, and all of our water in this whole area is out. And has been for, let's see, it was out about one, so one, two, three, four, five hours so far. <laughs> we have zero zero water. Can't flush the toilet, can't, I know, TMI, sorry about that. So anyway, I am just like super, super like exhausted emotionally. So I just started looking around. I'm thinking, okay, I've got avocados, I've got sourdough bread, I've got seeds and nuts and um, sun-dried tomatoes, salt and pepper. I know what I'm going to make. So anyway, I figured I would share that with you because people are always saying, well, what do you guys eat? You know, what do you eat if you don't eat meat <laughs> and stuff? It's actually very simple. It's not that hard. So anyway, um, I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to give you a view. All right. So I have an avocado that just barely got ripe. I have sun-dried tomatoes, tomatoes that are in herbs and then I have got whoo this is hot I've got sourdough toast and hold on let me use this so I don't burn myself and I've got paper utensils <laughs> okay anyway so what I'm gonna do is put my avocado on my toast and then I'm gonna put some tomatoes and then I've got some seeds and I've also got, I think I've got chia seeds and yeah, I've got several different seeds. I'm going to put chia seeds, flax seeds and um, sesame seeds and sunflower seeds all sprinkled on there. So protein, veg and um, fruit fruit, tomato, I don't know. Anyway, that's what it's going to be, so I will show you when it's all done. And there is the finished product. Does not look yummy? Hmm, okay, hold on here. Oops, it's kind of dark, getting dark in here, sorry about that. All right, so the sun-dried tomatoes were in olive oil, by the way. They were cut up and sauteed and all that. So I kind of squeezed them out because I didn't want a lot of oil on this, but. Mm. Mm. That was good. Mm -hmm. Hi guys and good morning. It is Thursday. Uh, my day is Thursday. You'll probably be seeing this on Friday possibly Saturday, depends on how fast I can edit things. Um, I got a lot of clips to go through. What I do, just FYI, is, uh, and what other um, content creators and stuff do, is they just film everything. It's just like they film everything, they take shots and snaps of whatever they think might be interesting, or they just take pictures of everything, and then they put them, they upload them to the uh, computer, and then they start separating them and putting them in different files for different subjects, for different whatever, and, and the dates and all that good stuff. After that, then you go and you start bringing down, you know, you start ranging and using what you want, saving what you don't want, because you never know on a different video, you might say want a picture of the road or the travel from here to there or whatever, or a beautiful sunset or, you know, whatever. Anyway, then you would have it there so you can just bring it down and use it. So you don't have to get back in the car if you forgot to film like a like a 
driving scene. You don't have to get back in the car and redrive the whole thing and reshoot the whole thing. So there is a method to the madness. <laughs> anyway, I apologize. I look really rough today. My hair is dirty. It is in a, um, a loose ponytail today. I need to wash it because yesterday we had no water. <laughs> so today it is, oh, 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 it is like needs to be washed really bad. So anyway, but before I do all of that, I'm just feeling really, really, um, not really down, like emotionally down. I'm just feeling really tired. And I think it's because yesterday was an emotional day and, um, I, just, I don't know. I just think it's catching up with me and it just making me tired. But last night I did sleep Oh my gosh, I slept like eight straight hours. It was the best feeling ever. And I think my body might be in shock because it just feels really relaxed and like, ah. And very, very, very rarely do I ever feel very relaxed like that. So there is that. So anyway, um, I got some stuff in the mail and I thought I would just show it to you. Some of it I think would be really uh, beneficial to you. And others is just because I got it in the mail and, and they sent it to me and I love it. So I want to show you. So anyway, the first thing is I watch, I don't know if you guys watch her. Her name is uh, Josie, or Josie Irons now. She just got married to Charlie, Char Charlie and Josie Irons. And her original channel was called Fashion Mumbler. She did all fashion stuff. She lived in London and it was just a fashion channel. Now it is morphed into a, like a wholesome living channel, wholesome eating, wholesome living, gardening, a lot of gardening, um, just very inspirational, very wholesome, very clean. So she is my number one favorite influencer, other than myself, of course, <laughs> just kidding. I know I'm gonna ha get hate comments for that one. But anyway, she is my favorite influencer to watch. So anyway, I'm very, very picky on who I watch because I don't want to waste my time with stuff that is just trying to sell me stuff all the time or I don't feel as genuine. I don't mind if people recommend and give me free discount codes. Yay, I love that. But I don't really like when they just only pop up to do an ad. That bothers me. I don't know about you guys. Tell me in the comments if it does because it does bother me. So, um, anywho... And my battery is about to die. I'll be right back. Battery died. I'm back. Should have checked that before we started now, right? <laughs> okay. So, um, anyway, Josie, I follow her channel. And anything she recommends, I fully and completely trust that she has researched it to no end. If she didn't do it, then I know her husband did because Charlie has uh, OCD. <laughs> and he, I mean, he goes down a rabbit trail. I mean... He's like, he goes deep in his deep dives. So I have a son that is exactly like that and a husband that is exactly like that. And anytime they tell me anything that they have researched, I know for sure they have covered it. <laughs> so um, Charlie is the same, uh, admittedly so. It is, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's an excellent thing. It's a good character thing to have, even though it's labeled. I hate labels. Don't you hate labels? I hate labels. Arr. Anyway, that's a different video. <laughs> All right. So um, anyway, she recommended, and she has for a very long time, a company called Wild Nutrition. Um, it's super simple um, branding and everything. These are uh, glass, glass uh, bottles, and they are refillable. So when you run out, they send you the package and then you just fill it up and you don't have a ton of these, a ton of plastic bottles, uh, you know, not able to disintegrate and they're filling our landfills and our world with crap. Anyway, that's another subject as well. <laughs> try to do my part. I am not perfect. I am not even halfway there, but I try to do my best when I can. So anyway, while nutrition, uh, does supplements for men, for women, for pregnant women, for women wanting to become pregnant, for menopausal women, uh, the whole nine yards. So anyway, it is made from 100% food, uh, food source, food grown, everything comes from food that they have actually sourced themselves and it's all organic, um, whole foods, everything. So you know that it is 
not filled with a bunch of fillers and excuse me, I have hiccups. <laughs> okay, let's see if that worked, I don't know. Anyway, it is not filled with a bunch of fillers and crap like that. So anyway, Josie knows so much more about it and she can just go on and on about it. So if you wanna know more about it, I will drop a link to her videos down in the description box and you guys can check it out. But for me, I just joined and I got a discount code from Josie because <laughs> she does have a discount code for it. And then I ended up signing up because I liked it so well. So what I did is I got uh, the magnesium and vitamin D right here. And then I ordered the to-go packs where it's like a little um, thing and it has little packages in it and you can just grab for travel so you don't have to bring your bottles and you don't have to get it into like a, um, what do you call it, a, a package or anything. It's very, very convenient. So anyway, I ordered some more, but that was my first order and the first time. And I, I have, I love it. And on my labs this last time my vitamin d was perfect um magnesium perfect so you know they were low and now they're good so and i've been taking vitamin d and magnesium off of amazon for years so i am impressed anyway so that was one thing that came in the mail my refills for those second thing now this one is off amazon and okay <laughs> hold on i think that i need to tip you guys a little bit so I'm like in the frame okay I don't know if that's crooked or not if it is I'm so sorry <laughs> all right so um anyway now my card my memory card said full so I had to change that <laughs> I am not a good content creator at all I am like Arr. sorry about that you guys all right to continue on <laughs> I got, I started, I did an app. It's, um, let me get it out of here. This is from Simply, it's Delish. It is, I got it off. Uh, no, I got this one off of Walmart. Sorry about that. I thought it was Amazon, but this one is bought through Walmart. But you can get it, same brand, everything off of Amazon. So I'll link both of them below just in case you want to try them out. And you guys probably already knew about this little little gem um, for cooking. It is tomato flakes. And it's sun-dried tomatoes, just freeze-dried tomatoes. And you can put them in recipes, you can put them on top of toast, um, put them over tacos. Uh, it's just perfect for like, say, um, you are out of tomatoes and you are trying to cook something and you're like, oh man, I don't have them. This right here. It's a good substitute. Also, uh, when you put liquid with them and stuff, they just, they like pump that up again. Um, totally all of the nutrition is sealed in here. There's nothing added, nothing. It is just a plain old tomato that is freeze dried and it's perfect. So anyway, um, yeah, it is, let's see, the highest quality uh, spices and then it talks about their spices, uh, freshness, fineness, um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, every dish is delish, that is their thing. So, I mean, there's not even like a list of what's in here because all it is is tomatoes. <laughs> so anyway, ooh, sorry, the light is shining. So I got this and it came, I was very excited. I had bought a little tiny one and I thought, I'm gonna try it, see if it works, if it's good. It was on a couple of the vegan recipes I use. Um, Pick Up Limes, it's a channel that has um, millions of followers, but she is a dietitian and she is a plant-based eater and cook, chef. And her and her husband uh, do this, I mean, oh my gosh, the best recipes ever. If you are thinking of going plant-based, she's the one to go to because she has everything from how to begin um, to advanced stuff, easy stuff, on the go stuff, you name it, she's got it on her channel. So anyway, she and her husband just developed an app. And so I downloaded it and I have been using tons of their um, suggestions. I haven't been able to really use their, a lot of their recipes yet. I have done a couple before our, our kitchen got, you know, torn up. But anyway, so easy peasy. I got that. I'll put that back so I don't forget about it. The, la the second thing, or 
third thing I got in the mail was a complimentary um, hair thing. The hair extensions that I wear are from Ugg Eat. I don't know if you can see that. It is a brand. They provide virgin human hair. And they are a little bit higher on the price point than, uh, say, Bell Bellamy Hair or Lux Hair or I'm just, just naming off the ones off the top of my head. They are more expensive, they, but they are so much better, like quality. I have been wearing, I have another, a second box that I got, um, I got from them. This box I purchased, so, because I liked it so much, I bought some more. Um, but you're sitting on it, so I can't really, in fact, you know, what? I'm going to show you, <laughs> see, you are sitting on this box, so I cannot, sorry about that, don't look at my messy background, um, all right, now I got to balance you back right, because I don't want to drop you, and I got to put this back a little bit, all right, I think, maybe, hold on. Now you're not in the right spot. I shouldn't have done that, should I? All right. I don't know. We'll find out when I go to edit it. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I bought, I got the first ones as a trial, just a review. And I've been wearing them <clears throat> for two months. And I have washed them twice. I love them. They are just as good as the day that I got them and I have worn them. I've even fallen asleep in them, which you are not supposed to do because it's not good for your own hair. But my hair is going through transitions and stuff from my medications and from having chemotherapy and everything. It did not grow back like it used to be. And so I'm doing all this really good stuff to it and taking care of it and not using heat on it, blah, 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 blah. And then when I go out, I put the extensions in so I don't have to curl and do all that to my own hair. And it is amazing. So anyway, I ordered my own box. So this is the way it comes. Just a small little box. And then it opens up. And it's super, super, like, uh, eco-friendly. There's not a lot to it. Um, comes with their uh, quality, everything, in their, you know, their little card to you and then it also comes with a cute little roller and a, and a clip you know so you can do your bangs back or whatever and this is my favorite thing ever <laughs> comes with all of these clips I love it because it makes it so easy to do your hair so anyway that's what it comes with and then it comes the hair comes in this pretty little satin bag now when I saw this little teeny tiny bag I thought there's no way that there's going to be enough hair in here to put on my head. That's just ridiculous. And I got really scared, especially for what I paid for it. Anyway, but it was amazing. Let me, well, here, I don't want to mess up that. Anyway, it was plenty, plenty of hair. In fact, for me, I, I don't even have to use it all if I'm not like doing a big whoop de doo And um, guaranteed to be virgin hair which if you have ordered different hair products before, you will know that um, virgin hair is really hard to come by. And sometimes they say virgin hair, they'll say virgin rummy hair, blah, 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 blah. And then below, there'll be like a little disqual disclaimer saying that it was virgin when we got it, but then we colored it and then we did this and this and this and process it, that. Okay, so that's not the case. Anyway, uh, also I can tell that they are telling the truth because um, this matches my natural color, not my bleached color or my dyed color, which is usually a good sign that it is, you know, uh, real because it's not, it's not um, as, I don't know, how do you say it, as pretty as a dyed hair, <laughs> but that's, that's what you want. Anyway, um, anyway, so here I'm going to unwrap it and washing it, usually like you'll get um, fake hair in the like the mail and then you will go ahead and wash it up after after it washes it'll start out straight but then after you wash it it turns into a bunch of curls and frizz and then you have to flat iron it and all that and then it it ruins the hair really quickly this i have washed the well the, the other ones i have washed uh twice and they came out just as gorgeous 
actually better than when they first sent it to me. So here is the, wow, this long one. So this is 18 inches and it's got all of the different links. I'll show you on the one I have because I don't want to unwrap this white quite yet. The one I have is, here's the one that I've been wearing and I should probably have brushed it before I picked it up and showed you. But anyway, this is the one that I have and it's been washed twice and it is just as absolutely beautiful. Look at that, isn't that just perfect? Has different kind of, you know, like colors through it. It's not exactly flat. Like, you know, some of them come, they look kind of flat, but anyway, it matches my hair perfectly. When, <laughs> look at my gray roots, you can see them more with the light on them. Actually, they aren't really that gray in this light, but on this light it is. Hmm, don't know, don't care. <laughs> anyway, perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. So anyway, that came today and I was super excited to share that with you. And let's see, this is the, okay. That's stuff that I thought maybe you could use. I do not have a discount code for UG Eat, not yet. I'm hoping that they will offer me one. I am gonna hashtag them, I'm gonna contact them, and I'm gonna say, hey, I've got a YouTube channel, and I've got women that are trying to grow back their hair, and they could really probably like to play around with some extensions as they grow their hair out after chemotherapy. Would you mind giving us a really good discount? You never know, all they have to say is no. That's no in sign language, by the way. No and yes. <laughs> all right, anyway, that was the stuff I thought you might be able to like take advantage of. All right, this is the one that is just fun. Let me get it. Oh my goodness. This is from, I don't know if you can see it, Mango. I'm gonna open it up. It has not been opened yet. Yikes. All right, let's start with Number one. Now this right here I bought myself because I'm getting ready for um, spring and I have no spring clothes. I gave them all away when I moved because I didn't want to have to bring them. So now I'm repurchasing some of them. Some of them have been gifted and I love it. But this I bought myself with my own hard earned cash. Um, all right. This I thought was beautiful color. Let's open it up. They had a really good sale, so I took advantage of it. Let's see, this one. Isn't that beautiful? It just, I think it is just gorgeous, and I think it'll look good when I'm, when I'm fixed up. I look like crap right now, but it's got lightweight uh, balloon sleeves. It's got this cute little detail right here that goes down from the neck, and of course it's got the little, you know, but I like it because it doesn't go really low. It just like kind of up here. Love that. And it is a rayon silk, I think. Rayon and silk. So decent. Be nice and nice for spring. So there is. Okay. Sorry about that. My camera overheated. It's like, oh my gosh, I think I need a new camera, you guys. Anyway, so here you go. This was a wild card. I never wear anything with color, and you guys have told me, Jody, you need some color, because I've got everything in either black or uh, just neutral tones, that's my gig, uh, work and stuff, I just kind of keep it that way so I can like, you know, everything goes with everything, but it's spring, it's a new, it's a new beginning, so I got some color. So this one, ooh, it's pretty, it is a silky one. And it has, hold on, what is front and what is back? All right, this is the back, this is the front. Anyway, I just thought it was so, the comes up around the neck and it's got like, just kind of simple on the front, nothing too big. Anyway, and the sleeves are just regular sleeves, nothing fancy, and they've got a nice little cuff with a cute little gold button. So anyway, I thought that would be cute with my black, uh, pants, my black dress pants, I think, or with a pair of jeans even, who knows, 
could look good with all of the above. So there is that. Now, this one, oh, I love, 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 love this one. I saw this one and this one was not on sale, but I still got it because I just thought I fell in love with it. It's so me. And of course, <laughs> it is black. Sorry, but it has little little tiny um, markings on it, little cream things. Anyway, it is got ruffles, which I love anything that is um, feminine. So this one has the cute little ruffles on the shoulders and the balloon sleeve and goes down and has the uh, elastic sleeve with the cute little ruffle at the end. See that? Isn't that adorable? And... Then it's kind of just flouncy. It has the elastic through here, like through this part here. It's hard to see on camera. And then it comes down stuff. So there you go. I just thought it was very feminine and very, very cute. So that, and I could actually hmm, probably wear that with a black jacket over for work. Maybe, doubtful. <laughs> but that was my, that was my kind of thought. Oh, maybe I could wear that for work, but then, seen it. It's got too many dots on it. It won't work, but it will work just for fun. All right. Now this one is, I call my cowgirl shirt. <laughs> this is a total, will make me fit in in Tennessee, in this town where I'm living. It is kind of like, I don't know, it's 100% cotton and it's got the balloon sleeves again with the cute, just simple, lightweight. And it's got the cute little buttons down the front and it's a, just a neutral color stripes. Nothing too big, but it's got, you know, it's just cute. So anyway, I got that. And, oh, well, I just knocked over all my uh, lipsticks all over. Sorry, Bentley. Bentley's like, ah, mommy, what are you doing? All right, last one. Uh, this is my favorite of all of them, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is so me. And if you've been following me for a while, you will know I love white and I love ruffles. I'm a girly girl no matter what. I am to the core a girly girl. Anyway, although if you ask my mom when I was little, I was a huge tomboy. <laughs> she put dresses on me and I'd be standing on my legs and my panties would be showing my knickers and she goes, oh, Jody, your knickers are showing, get the dress down. <laughs> She hates when I when I do that. But anyway, yes, that was me when I'm growing up. But now I'm a total girly girl. So anyway, here is this beautiful, 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 beautiful white blouse. And it is in a beautiful silky material. It has the kind of not really a balloon sleeve, but a little bit looser sleeve, which I have to have looser sleeves. If you, someone said, why do you always wear balloon sleeves? Because I have lymphedema in my right arm and it blows up like a flipping balloon. Uh, when I lift, when I pull, when I do anything, sometimes it just, so if I'm wearing something that's already fitted and then my arm blows up, it is, puts pressure and it hurts and it looks really bad. It looks like a sausage on one arm poked into a uh, like a skin so that is why I always try to get something loose and flowy around the arm so there you go answered that person's question <laughs> anyway and then the cuffs are just splendid oh my gosh I love these they're so just I don't know if you can see they have like like little ridges in them oh my gosh I love it and the, just one two little buttons nothing too big and then Oh, I love, 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 love it. The lace around the collar is so exquisite. I just love it. Get that out of the way. And then down the front, it's got like these wonderful little uh, ruffles and another, like just a beautiful lacing right here. I don't know. It's hard to tell on camera. I'll have to, when I put, oh, right here, you can see it. So it's just very, very, very feminine. And it goes, the V goes all the way down with the ruffle. And it is, uh, I wish you guys could feel it. It is so soft. It is just like unbelievably, and it's got some good weight to it, so it's not cheap at all. Although I got it for, well, they took the price tag off. Why did they do that? Hate that. I don't know. It was like $19.99. It was regular like $55 or something like that. So it wasn't like outrageous anyway, but it was just, I just thought it was a good deal, and it's beautiful. 
So, and did I get it dirty already? Oh, good. Thank goodness. <laughs> anyway, there's that one, and I think that was it. That was it, you guys. All right. Now, um, that is the end of this week's vlog. I am going to end it here on Thursday instead of Friday because tomorrow I have to clean this house up vacuum everything and it's just going to be a very very boring day so i need to get everything edited today and up to youtube by tomorrow morning so i gotta get going on that now or else it will not be done and then i will start vlogging again on saturday morning we have a very busy weekend and week ahead of me because number one um my husband is going to be gone he is flying back to California, and then he's going to Las Vegas for a conference, and then going to check on my mom and dad, and see my sisters and the family, and go to church, see our uh, church family and all that. And then, so he's going to be gone for five days. But during that five days, my sissy and her husband, Sherry and Hugo, are going to be here because they are building a house like 20, 30 minutes from us. So they are going to be staying with me. So they will be here for three to four days out of that five. So... Um, yeah, so I won't be alone. It'll be really nice. Saturday during the day, um, there is a, my oldest grandson, Levi, it's his, uh, first soccer tournament. He is in two different soccer teams that I think I mentioned this before. One like local and then the second is like a national. It's like, he's really, really good. So he got picked up for that, which was really a huge honor for him. And this is their first tournament. So... I am going to go, and he asked me, he says, Nana, are you going to film that for your people? They might be interested. He's so sweet. And I'm like, yep, I am, I am, I am. So I'm going to share my family with you at the soccer field. And then Saturday evening is when my brother and sister-in-law, their plane lands in Chattanooga, which is an hour from my home. So anyway, it is going to be a busy weekend. Um... Yeah. Oh, and then Sunday night we're having family game night, which always gets wild when we have everybody doing a family game night. It is going to be massive. So I might film a little bit. I might be too embarrassed to show you our real side. <laughs> so anyway, all right. I hope you guys know I so appreciate you and I love you guys so much. It is not just, um, you know, it, it just isn't. And by the way, none of this is sponsored, not one single bit of it, because I just haven't been doing sponsorships because I am getting ready to go to work. Uh, aside from from this, I'm going to be doing um, my regular interpreting job from home. So um, if there's something that comes along that I am really think that you guys would love, I'll pick it up. If not, then I won't. I just am kind of just enjoying just sharing my life with you guys and my cancer journey and trying to get the point across to people that when you have cancer, it doesn't just, it's not just an event in your life and then it's over. Sometimes it is, thankfully, sometimes it's not, but it's not always. You get cancer and either you're over forever or you die. That's the two options that I mostly see on YouTube. And I am here to tell you that it doesn't go that way. You can live with cancer and you can survive cancer, even if it looks really, really bad. So I'm hoping and praying that I bring some kind of hope to somebody out there. That is the goal of this channel. All right. I will see you in the next one, you guys. Love you all. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. It would be wonderful to hit 10,000. I would love it. Love, 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 love it. All right. Catch you in the next one.